I had to rush back home a few weeks ago to the States, and unfortunately there's no direct flights from Tanzania to anywhere useful. I had to spend the night in New York. I didn't feel like going into the city or staying anywhere fancy, so I ended up just staying at JFK at the newly reopened TWA Hotel. The hotel is at the site of the former TWA terminal at JFK, and it just reopened in May. I really felt like I was taken back to the golden age of flying, and it really made the whole experience well worth it. Yeah, here's the room. It's a hotel room. There's a bed. There's a TV. It was really comfortable and really clean. Yeah, so it's uh, 4 a.m. Got about seven and a half hours sleep. Uh, got about five and a half hours before my flight takes off. Why not take use of uh, the gym here so I get my fat ass moving and try to wake up and be a bit grounded. Um, hey. Just means I can eat more uh, crappy fast food later as well and feel better about it. Win, win, win. The gym was almost like too big. It was a bit intimidating. Uh, I think it would have given some Division One football programs a run for their money. Looking at you, New Mexico State. It also gave me a chance to be that jackass at the gym that is there but not really working out, like throwing balls, lifting rope, and climbing a ladder to nowhere. This is the former lobby of the terminal, and at night this place is packed with people sitting on those funky 1960s chairs and uh, sitting at weird angles and not really being able to look anyone in the eyes. This is one of the coolest parts of an already cool hotel. It's a rooftop pool that overlooks Terminal 4 five and six and a couple of the runways it's it's actually really nice to be able to sit in there have a drink and watch planes take off and land got very much heated until you get out yeah so even if you don't have your bathing suit with you i would highly suggest just uh, diving in uh in your underwear because let's be honest here um the the uh airport pool um, where you're never going to see anybody again it's probably not the place to have any shame just, just go for it don't miss the experience life hack don't follow directions on the website instead take the air train to terminal 5 take the elevator all the way down to the ground floor and just walk outside it takes three minutes instead of ten outside they also have an old model plane that doubles as a bar tell you what I'm incredibly happy that I don't actually have to fly in this this model plane I probably would have needed about the uh, 30 gin and tonics that they used to serve uh, on there to actually get me through the flight as cool as the hotel is you wouldn't exactly go out of your way to stay there unless if you had an early flight out of JFK and you wanted to stay there the night before or if you're transiting through and waiting on a flight that said well worth the experience if you ever find yourself in that situation I'm back now in Tanzania, so be on the lookout for more videos about living there.